guys, this will be a video for the Phoenix Wishwing, so if you'd like to see how to collect it, then please keep on watching. I was hoping to get this guide out a lot sooner, but let's just say I had a lot of trouble farming one of the items. I'll give you one guess which one that was. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing you need to do is collect a talisman which can be purchased from Zektar in the nest of the raven speakers in the Spies of Iraq Draenor. The Phoenix Ash Talisman requires three items. The first is the Glittering Phoenix Ember which is a guaranteed drop from the raid boss Alice Raza in Firelands, but it does require the time walking version. Next up is 10 Sacred Phoenix Ash that can be looted from the cook pots in the Spires of Iraq. They are actually pretty easy to find. There are quite a few all around the Spires. Just look for the cook pots that might be around the Arakoa camps. I found one of the best places to camp the spot was right here. So I'm currently just under the W in Sethic Hollow. The item can spawn in either of these two pots, so it actually comes in pretty handy and it doesn't take too long to respawn, maybe like 15 minutes. And then the third item is by far the worst out of all the items that you need to farm for this particular pet. And that is 20 inert phoenix ash that's dropped by the scorching elementals in Ungaro crater let me tell you that the drop rate on this particular item is utterly ridiculous so when you get to this part get ready for a real grind fest in the Ungaro crater what you want to do is head to the volcano you're going to have to kill the Scorching Elementals, just be aware that they share a spawn with the Living Blazers, so make sure you kill those as well. The problem with this spot is the mobs die really fast, so it just takes one hit and they're dead. You're also competing with anybody else who's trying to farm these items at the same time, so if you're on a populated server, maybe choose a time that's like late in the day or late at night or group up with some people to make it a little bit easier but the drop rate seems to be around 5% or so wow that took a while so once you have those three items you can purchase the talisman from Zektar at the nest of the raven speakers in the spires of Iraq if you can't see this particular NPC, you'll need to complete the quest line because he will be phased. The quest you need to complete is called the High Raven Speaker, offered by Ictus of the Flock, an Arakoa located at the Nullwood Pass. Once you have the talisman, pick up the quest from Tarjan the Blind. Who is the NPC who loves to tell tales in the Waking Shores? He's located on the mountain behind the Obsidian Citadel and will ask you for a couple more items before he rewards you with the pet. Fifteen smoldering Phoenix Ash, which are dropped by the Phoenix mobs in the Waking Shores. I managed to find mine around the Obsidian Throne. I found like six phoenixes just sitting on some little hills in pretty close proximity to each other. So it didn't take too long to farm these, at least compared to the inert phoenix ash. And finally, you'll need to collect 20 ash feathers. 
So for that, you need to purchase the Ash Feather Amulet from Griftar, located at the Obsidian Throne, to see the feathers. I initially started killing phoenixes, but then I realised you don't really need to do that because they'll just start spawning as long as you have the buff. So I found mine around 3867 at the Burning Ascent in the Waking Shores, but continued to see them when I went to collect the other items while the buff was still active. So that was actually the very first item that I went to collect. So once you've collected the 15 ash and the 20 feathers, head on back to Tarjan, who will reward you with the pet. So there you go. I hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Special shout out to Tailspinner64 for organizing the Firelands group. Also to the Secret Finders Discord for working out all the steps for this secret pet. So good luck with all your drops. Hope the video helped and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.